Anthony and Abby, the church shares your joy and warmly welcomes you together with your families and friends as today. In the presence of God our Father, you establish between yourselves a lifelong partnership. May the Lord hear you on this your joyful day. May he send you help from heaven and protect you. May he grant you your heart's desires and fulfill every one of your prayers. to be with all of you in this beautiful day, in this beautiful church, this beautiful couple. Uh, and truly an honor for me to be a part of it, just thinking about being able to be with you along a bit of this journey. And I know it has been a long one, to say the least, um, but thinking about Anthony when we first met at St. Ben's coming in to the RCIA program, a little nervous, and to be able to hit it off with you, talking about sports and basketball, and, and then seeing uh, you at a companion to come along with you in the class and to get to know both of you. And, and then I was remembering one of my shining moments of asking uh, both of you when your wedding date was again at Mad Max, only to have Abby kick me swiftly under the table and say, we're not getting married yet. <laughs> But then of course to build up to the joy of celebrating that 6 p.m. Mass with both of you and to be able to hear the joyful story of how Anthony finally worked up the courage on Mount Washington to ask the question. And we're here and we made it. And so Anthony and Abby, if you're ready, let's do it. privilege, a joy truly for a, a moment we've been waiting for for a long time to introduce to you for the first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Anthony Schifano.
Abby and Anthony said, I do. It looks like we made it. After three tries, we're finally here. got engaged in December of 2018. Um, I celebrated with them over FaceTime in an airport layover. <laughs> um, what I didn't realize at that time, that this would be a theme that quickly descended on our lives nearly a year later. Of the few things that came out of COVID, this occasion is in fact a silver lining. Who of us wouldn't want to celebrate our wedding twice? We're celebrating a year of sharing life together, building a future, and supporting one another through challenges. Cheers to Abby and Anthony that the next 50 may be as resilient as the first one has been. I'm Erica and I met Abby five years ago when we were both teaching at a summer camp. And at the beginning, we only had a few times of talking and we talked about important things like donuts and coffee. It wasn't until I overheard Abby on the playground saying she eventually wanted to look at moving out of her parents. Thinking back, I would have never offered a random stranger I only talked about donuts and coffee to live with me. But I did and it worked out beautifully. Last year was wonderful to celebrate your love in such a unique way, but I'm so glad you finally have your day. Anthony, I am truly thankful for our friendship. You have always been someone I can count on through thick and thin, someone I could get advice from. You've always had my back no matter what. I'm honored to be up here today as your best man. Abby, I've seen how happy you've made Anthony over, this, over the past several years. You've influenced him in such a positive manner. I admire the love you two share, and I hope to find that for myself one day. Anthony had the honored privilege of being my little brother in Phi Kappa Psi. Little did I know he would become more of a familial brother than fraternal. I'm proud of you, man. You found one hell of a keeper. Which brings us to Abby. Moving in with Anthony, Abby became a constant in my day to day. Exactly what a single bachelor in a new city needed hanging around. Thanks, buddy. We became a little family, the three amigos, and I was their permanent third wheel. I got to witness the two of you grow together, and I could not be happier to share this special day with you. So, let's raise our glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Schifano. Yeah, we 